what would war look like at Ghost Hollow? Well, in this after action report, we will be following the coordinated efforts of the Cosmic Cozy crew as they went up against Blightvale and Astra Imperium in an assault to lock down the money making terminals at the Reclaimer Wreck. It wasn't just a free for all though, we had a plan. We split up into two teams. Team 1, also known as the Rattlers, will cover the air from the ground. We know our strong suit isn't in air to air combat, so their main job was to deter opposing orgs from landing too close and giving the ground team some call outs. Team 2, or the Frontier, will be the ones on the front lines. Being dropped in by various dropships, their only job is to get there as fast as possible and lock down the terminals. The plan sounds simple, but in the middle of battle, it is completely different. So let's cut to the first drop of the night. Go, 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 go. That's a drop. Oh, God. Ooh, that was a spicy drop. There's an NPC here. Nice, good splash on the arrow. Oh, he's engaging. He's engaging the cutty. Yeah, he's getting it. With night fastly approaching, the Rattlers were wiped out by the ever-increasing firepower from the other organizations, and the Frontier lost all visibility. So, with the knowledge that the opposing forces have parked far away and are running in probably, we prepared for their ground assault. Oh, what is happening up there? F8C versus our whole anti-air. Oh, there's two, oh, there's a horde in the By you, pumpkin, yeah. by you, pumpkin. Move the trestler. Yeah, I know, watch yeah, that door. Give me up, give me up, you son of a bitch. I couldn't fucking pull my gun out, I'm dead. I'm here. I fucking went to peek the corner. My dude put his gun down instead of up. I'm coming out right now. Terminal's probably up. Oh, I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm down. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Did anyone bother coming at you? Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Now I'm down. Ow. I'm down. I hit something. I'm down. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in low and park wherever I can that I can save before we start getting shot. Our ground team did not see their sneaky assault coming. The sniper took out one side and a large push on the other terminal eliminated what was left of our presence at Ghost Hollow. The night was not over yet. We could still take back the objective, and that's what we did. We loaded both squads into a Valkyrie and went in for a Hail Mary assault. Let's go! Oh, is yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, oh, 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 oh. I know where the facility is, but you're getting shot at. Holy! Close wreck. Break one. Shots from across. Yes. Shots from across. Oh my. I, uh, sniper. Just heard something. Shots. Where at? Where at? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm in a sniper position. Right there. Right there. Guys, come come to the uh, claim. Okay. Right Two of them just came up main entrance. I just knocked them. I knocked one, the other one got me. I'm coming down. To you, coming to you. You got yeah. three coming up. Just to be short. I got eyes, yep. There's 
definitely a there's definitely a ground. They're up the hill, Frosty. Got one. You fucked your shit up. Yeah, dude, we're doing some work down here. Who's this? Who's this? No, that was a that was a full bad guy. That ends the after action report for the Battle of Ghost Hollow. Cheers to Blight Vale and Astra Imperium for the amazing time of Ghost Hollow. Good fights to all of you. So with this video basically wrapped up, I just want to tell you guys what you didn't see, which were the multiple server crashes and hours of downtime between fights. Uh, we all had to fight through the bugs and natural jankiness of Star Citizen to make this happen. So I'm proud of all of us who stuck it out and made the best of the rough situation. And I just want to give a big shout out to the members of the Cosmic Cozy crew who have participated in this event. You all should be very proud of yourselves. You showed extreme positivity in the face of enraging situations. So thank you all for representing the org in a very positive way. And lastly, thank you Party Squid for putting on this massive event. I saw all the behind the scenes struggles that you went through just to make this happen. And I hope you feel like your hard work is worth it. We all want more PvP events like this, so keep them coming, you're a legend. Thank you all for watching this little short video. Uh, before you leave, if you haven't, please make sure you subscribe, like the video, and please, please, please leave a comment. It can be your favorite emoji or just the word, hey. All those little actions help push my videos out to more people, and seeing new faces in my community always makes me happy, so I really appreciate your support. This was our first big PvP event, and if you're wondering my thoughts on it, I'm kind of iffy. The organizing and planning things out with the org was by far the most fun I've ever had. Being able to see what everyone's strong suits were besides shooting people in the face was nice to see. We had arms dealers, logistic officers, money sponsors. It was a great time for the community, but when it came down to the drop and get to work, I could sense the whole squad had this like, oh no moment. I can't help but see that private servers or dedicated game modes for events like this need to happen like as soon as possible. I'm not a game developer, so I'm not going to say creating these things is easy, but from a content creator standpoint and someone who's constantly hears what players want, this, this needs to happen. A place for orgs to interact and actually have a purpose. Doing events in public lobbies is fine, but it's just not sustainable. Jink is fine, but single digit frame rates for an entire group of people, all on different hardware, it's, it's not fun. It makes it feel like every kill is more luck versus skill, and that's just kind of an icky feeling. Anyways, that was my rant. I'm gonna go back to watching the kid watch Subway Surfers as someone reacts to the Star Engine trailer again. So, hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. This is a demo for the updated engine that's not live yet.